Huh. What is this? A new GoPros in America video. Uploading now. Oh, I'll try this. <clears throat> okay, maybe we'll do two grunts. Let's torque this thing to I don't care foot pounds. And today, my intrusive thoughts kind of won. So I have, uh, I have this 89cc motor that was originally on my Coleman mini bike, and I went mud bogging, and I had a hole in the exhaust, and so water went in through the intake, and it went also in through the exhaust, and it cooled the piston so fast that it cracked it. And so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing an experiment. Do not try this at home. I'm going to take some two-part epoxy and I'm going to epoxy my piston back together. And I'm going to be reinstalling it in my motor. And honestly, I want to see what happens. <laughs> if the... Uh, Pissing can hold up or whatever. So let's get into the video. All right, now we're just gonna lather it onto our piston here. And uh, okay, so we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna get all this into there and fill the crack. All right, let's let this dry now. And then we'll install everything in. So while we let that dry, we need to clean up the inside of our motor. Because after a while and years of neglection, our motor looks a little dirty. So now let's get a rag and we will get a little bit of brake clean and clean all this out. All right, we got some brake clean here. And let's just wipe out the inside of our motor. Just get all the As the piston is drying, it's mostly dried, we are going to put our one of our C-clips in. And all you do is you put it in there, get a small screwdriver or pick. You just want to push that into place. Now our C-clip is seated. We can now Take some oil and we can spray down the uh, the pin entry with some oil and then we're going to spray our rod here and we're going to reinstall oh so well, I think what you need to do is we need to install the piston and then we install the rod. So I'll see you in a second. Now that we got the rod in, we're going to shove our piston all the way up into the cylinder and then we're going to put our crankshaft on. Like that. And then we're going to put some oil on this bearing. And then we're going to put our crankshaft in. And then we're going to get the raw, the journal of the crankshaft all lubed up. Then we got our rod here, our rod cap, and move up our rod. 
my bolts. Not drop it like that or that. All right, now that we got our bolts in, we're gonna tighten them to one grunt. <clears throat> Okay, maybe we'll do two grunts. <sighs> Let's now get our camshaft in. All right, so now we got our camshaft in. We put our lifters in and it was a whole thing. So I just cut two of this. So now that we got our camshaft in, we aligned the tight marks. And now uh, we need to put our side cover on, then we'll put our flywheel on, and then we can, and then we'll put oil in it and we'll start it up and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm actually curious on if this will last any time. Unless this lasts long enough to the point where we can just, I can just run it as an actual engine of mine. And then we'll oil up our bearing. And we'll just go a chew. Perfect. All right. Oh wait, I think I need a gasket. <laughs> Torque to spec. All right, now you can reinstall our valve cover. All right, we can put our spark plug on. We'll tighten that later. But now, our flywheel. Our flywheel is looking the rustiest. Let's torque this thing to I don't care foot pounds. And that is torque to I don't care. Compress, oh. She has some decent compression. Let's see if we can get this thing to spin. All right, now that I got everything torqued and done to I don't freaking care, let's hook up our <laughs> fuel line that is ages old. You know, I'll just get a new one, why not? I swear I've seen, uh, I've seen, ah, here it is. My pull starter in here. And now, as soon as we put this on, and, if, and when we put some oil in it, you can try it. See, that was the problem right there. So, let's put this on and check her out. All right. We have got this all assembled. I know the exhaust pipe is really long, but now we need to put oil and fuel in, and I will see you in a second. Okay, just to get the oil moving around, I did pull the spark plug wire off. So the first few pulls, I'm gonna take the plug off, and then once I, I'm gonna put the plug back on, um, when I actually go to fire it. So, as soon as I fire it, I'm gonna start my timer, and let's see how long this lasts with some abuse. Oh wait, hold up, I need earmuffs. All right, here we go. No. I did put a little bit of two-stroke oil in there, so let's see. Shoot, 
I need to start the timer. And while you're down there, please like and subscribe and share this with someone that uh, might like this content. And also, tell me what I should put this on. Should I put it on my knee scooter? <laughs> I kind of want to. But, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you. Did it die already? No, it died already. Easy.